Hello. 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 What's your name? My name is Matt Edwards. Hi, Matt. Hello. Where are you from? Where are you from, Matt? I'm from uh, Suffolk. Suffolk? Great. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. Do you have a day job? Um, I... Do, do, do I look young? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm a magician, is what I do for my day job. Lovely. So tell us something about you that makes you different from other magicians that we may have seen on the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the, what makes me different from other magicians is um, the type of magic I perform isn't necessarily sleight of hand. It's a little bit uh, crazy, a little bit variety, I would say. Mm. Hmm. It's like the sound of that. All right, well, we look forward to your act. Good luck. So I do it now? Yeah. It's lovely to meet you all. Uh, my name is Matt. What's your name? Brilliant, that's enough. Now, I've only got like a minute to show you what I can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform a trick. Uh, but before I do my trick, I'm going to propose a toast. I want to say cheers to everybody. Um, so, when I say cheers, everybody in the audience shouts... Cheers! Perfect, amazing. Now, uh, because uh, I've only got a minute, I'm going to give this a big build-up in the hope that everyone claps really loudly and then all the ladies take off their bras and throw them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you, Alicia. <laughs> Worth a try. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Señores y señores, bienvenidos a la Britain's Got Talent de esta noche sin papá la tequila. <laughs> Rachel, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Lee Evans and magic. I do. Yeah. What's this? Might as well. Oh. I forgot the soul. Gotta have soul. Oh. Tequila. I forgot the soul. I'm fine, I'm fine. to present a magic trick. It's good. I love when people push jokes as far as they possibly can go until they almost break. It was very funny, very entertaining. It was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Amanda? Yeah, I mean, I really loved it. It was sort of silly how Tommy Cooper used to do it. You know, you're so distracted by you clowning and messing about that we're not paying attention to what you're actually doing, so therefore it's even more magical. I really love you. I think you're charming, I think you're funny, and you're kind of old school with a twist, which is absolutely perfect for Britain's Got Talent. Well done. Simon? 
I've got to be honest with you, Matthew. You know, when you started with that voice, I thought this is going to be really annoying. But actually, you are brilliant. I mean, really, really funny. And how old are you, 34, did you say? 34. OK, I'm surprised you haven't had a break yet, Matthew, because you're really likeable and nuts. Um, you've just got something about you, it's your energy. This is what we look for on these shows, people who've got star quality. I've just got a feeling about you. Thank you so much. Good to know. It is good. Really good. I agree, Matthew. Love your passion and enthusiasm. Right, we're going to take a vote. David. Oh, they've got the vote. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Excuse hold on. me. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, we were laughing so much, I thought I was going to pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. We were, well honestly, deserved. Honestly, we loved the act, and then Simon, you said it. He's 34 years old, and for some reason, he hasn't been given the break up yeah. until now. And so we just wanted to be, be there and do it. Honestly, well done. Well done. Funny. Really good. Really good. Yes. Really good. Love it. Yes! Oh. That's a good one. Yeah! You picked a good one! I like him. I've got to tell you, Matt, they were absolutely on the money. This is what it's all about. Dreams come true. Good for you. You deserve it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Oh Honestly, God. that oh was just... Oh I haven't seen wow. energy in a routine like that for years. Please tell us you've got those moments in your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the song, I've got so much that I'm ready to show the world. Good. Thank you so much for the opportunity You're to welcome, show man. Well, so you live straight through the semi finals. Uh, <laughs> lights will. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 I knew you'd do it. I knew you'd do it. <laughs> and hasn't said a word. I love him. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> For the odd person that is watching at home or doesn't know, you are a superstar from this last season, season 17, yes. on AGT. <laughs> you blew up. You're a comic superstar. I know you've been traveling. I know I offered you a job with me opening up. You haven't had time. Haven't had time. That's how busy people are recognizing you on the street. With all that going on, why come back for more? Here's the thing. I didn't win. That's why I was here. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I wanted the title. I wanted to be the first comedian ever. And then when I left, I was devastated. Good for you. So when I got the call, I never stopped working. And I just kept tightening, writing, yeah. fixing everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You want a show. Yes, we do. Yeah. No more questions. Give us the show. Okay. I love him for saying that. Yeah. He came to win. <laughs> So, 
AGT has been changing my life, but it's been changing my family's life even more, especially my stepson. For those of you that don't know, my wife's older, I got a stepson, we like the same age, I call him Step Man, all right? <laughs> and he's been exhibiting unusual behavior because he's upset that I portrayed him on the show as irresponsible and gets in trouble in school. So he's been trying to prove he's responsible by buying products around the house with my money. <laughs> And I didn't even know. I walked in on him eating his cereal. I'm like, hey, don't waste that milk. He's like, I bought it. Like, okay. And he doesn't waste the milk. He walks the bowl of milk past the sink and places the bowl of milk inside of the refrigerator. So first I'm like, who reuses cereal milk? But then I was like, how good would my cereal taste double cocoa puffed up? <laughs> All these years I've been single milking it. I just needed my milk to marinate. The fame is affecting Stepman. He's been invited to all these parties, but he's been staying out too late. So my wife and I, we've been deciding how to handle it. I'm like, I don't know what to do. She's like, go get him. <laughs> I drove around the corner to pick him up. I came home three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Michael, you've been drinking? I'm like, we got some of the same friends. <laughs> Everybody was there. He's still there. I'm gonna go get him again. <laughs> I'll find out why you weren't invited. <laughs> and on top of all of that, I have responsibilities in the community. I'm a little league coach, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we have a 12-year-old together. Yeah, that's the one we call real kid. <laughs> and they call me Coach Fro, because I can't fit the hat. <laughs> I just set it on top. <laughs> I love coaching, you know? I just hate when kids get hit by the pitch because it is not supposed to be funny. <laughs> but baseball, <laughs> baseball is a game of technique. When the ball's coming at you, you turn and you brace. But a lot of the kids, they get afraid and they get hit in the worst places, like the center of the back, and I see it happening. The ball's coming and they turn and like, ah, ah, ah. And the worst thing you can do when you're holding in your lap is look at another person. <laughs> you know, oh, 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 oh. And the kid's like, I can hear you. The pitch was 25 miles per hour. She's trying to kill me. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm Mikey Winfield. Thank you very much, America. <laughs> Thank you, America. <laughs> Danny O for Mikey. Thank you very much. Thank you all. that superstar smile and you are that ray of sunshine and I love you, you're hilarious and I will be double milking from now on. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. I will do it tomorrow morning. <laughs> Mike, you know what? I think if you had done that routine in the final, it might have been a completely different story because you've come back funnier, more confident. I can even see in your eyes how much this means to you right now. It means everything. I Thank that. you. I could see that. This is what I've been wanting forever. I wanted AGT. I've been doing this for like 20 years. And you go unnoticed and you finally get a platform. There's no time to take off or put on breaks. I'm here to play. You know what, Mike? I love, love, love people who compete, and I wasn't expecting to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Thank you. Mike E. Winfield, you are 
Going straight to the All-Star finale! Emotional up there, man. This is all stars, and I am. I'm trying to hold it back. The hammer. This is like, this is like the dream. This is the dream. He really got me, Heidi. Yeah. If you are lucky enough to move forward, do you have plans for the next round? Yes, we have very many other skills and abilities, and if we go through to the next round, all of your dreams will come true. <laughs> Dustin, I think what you do is amazingly funny. I love you. I'm giving you a yes. I loved it as well. And, and I'm giving you a big, enthusiastic yes. Heidi, and you girls would have said no to the market. It's not my sense of humor at all. For me, it's a big no. Well, I beg you. I beg no, you. I mean, I just, I didn't get it and I didn't find it funny and I like to laugh and that wasn't funny to me, so it's a no. I am sorry, but that means that you didn't get through. Howard, where are you going? Take a deep breath, sit down. Howard. So you have two notes. You know, you know, I've got the golden buzzer here. buzzer once per season and he has used it for Dustin's dojo. I've done it for you. For some reason, Dave. Thank Love you. Boots. What's your name? My name is Christian. C Christian? Yes, please. What do you do as a day job? I work in the uh, centre of London as a waiter. Anywhere we'd know? Any nice restaurants? Um, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be, uh, become a superstar to run the world, to sell albums, records, to have fans. Yes, thank Good you. Good luck. Thank you. I like Christian.
bloody hell did you do that for? Because Christian is going to win Britain's Got Talent! Yes! 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 Not being rude, Christian, but the act was appalling. Listen, we have to press the buzzer when we really believe in something and it's up to each individual judge to have a passion for somebody. And if you're David's passion, then well done to you. I promise I'm going to work very hard. Thank you, all of you. I promise. It's not just about the voice, Simon. It's about personality. It's not. Piff, and he brought a baby. Hi there. Oh, Good evening. You. you are Piff the Magic Dragon. I'm Piff the Magic Dragon. You do, uh, you do a magic act, is that right? Oh, <laughs> fancy. $500. <laughs> this is Mr. Piffles. Hi, Mr. Piffles. $1,200. <laughs> Hang on, I think I'm going to sneeze. Nice. $74. <laughs> Last time you were here in the audition round, you brought, uh, you brought a volunteer up. Yeah, yeah. I had Hello. a little moment. <laughs> you made eyes at Heidi. Is... Yeah. There's Heidi, someone... do you want to come back up? Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause as Heidi joins you back on stage. Perfect. Yeah. Up. Come on, Heidi. OK. Heidi, you're going to reach and you're going to grab any one of these playing cards. Anyone take one out? Anyone? Just one? That's it? You happy with that one? Yep. Now, don't let Mr. Piffles see, OK? Is it right, your name? Okay. That's it on the front of the card. Put the card back in the deck. Put the card back in the deck. Lovely, just there. Yep. Remember your card? Yep. Don't forget it. We're going to show it to everyone there. Everybody remember Heidi's card? Mr. Piffles, the world's first magic performing chihuahua, is going to attempt to find Heidi's card using just his sense of smell. Oh, gosh. Heidi, do you like small animals? Yes. You do? I do. Do you want a little cuddle? Yes. OK. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. It's the only reason I got a dog, Heidi. But we do need to move on. All right, take him, he's dead to me. There we go. Lovely. No biting, Mr. Piffles. Not in the face again. Now, if Mr. Piffles manages to find Heidi's car, he's going to win a very special prize for a very special doggy, an entire year's supply of dog food. Ooh. You take the food, I'm going to take the doggy. Come on, Mr. Piffles, come on. All right, Mr. Piffles is going to find Heidi's cards. You ready, people? <laughs> Heidi, the playing cards. The playing cards, here with Mr. Piffles. Mr. Piffles, take it away. So he's going to go through all of the cards. All of the cards that don't smell like Heidi, he's going to take his cards, he's going to throw them out of the case. He's going to rearrange the remaining cards, placing Heidi's card at the 19th position. Throw it up to me, leaving me with one card and one... <laughs> Mr. Pivels has found Heidi's card, and he's changed it. <laughs> into the Ace of Hearts, and he's got rid of Heidi's name. Ta-da! Now what are we going to do? Come on, Mr. Pivels, what, what have you got you to say do? for yourself? Oh, Heidi, he says he's very sorry. He says he's on hunger strike. <laughs> he says no food, no card. Don't tell me the card is in this thing. Put the card in your hand. Mm. Don't move. I'll go in. <laughs> Inside the food. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hi, you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kiff's a real magician. Oh, oh, nice and clean for you. Oh, this is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Heidi. It's no, your turn. Yeah. Right, <laughs> 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 
Nice yeah. job, Piv. Thanks very much. Wow. What kind of sandwich are you making? Uh, ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> you and uh, you can't wait till this is finished, or are you? Well, I'm quite hungry. All that dog food made me a bit peckish. So. <laughs> well, uh, I loved. I loved all of it. I love the comedy. I love the, the actual skill you have in magic. I love your attitude. I'm kind of blown away by it, and I think it's great, and I don't think we need to deliberate much, because I'm using my golden buzzer. <laughs> because I love his his whole vibe. This I don't give a I damn know. attitude is so great. That's I love it. Them. It's so random. Yeah. They hit the golden buzzer. Gold, and you know what dragons love? Gold. They, you know, look at the Hobbit. Mr. Pivles and I just got the golden buzzer. I'm pretty stoked. Let's see how Mr. Pivles is feeling. <laughs> Well, the keyboard on top. I have, am I going to play a song today? Well, yeah, Britain's got talent. <laughs> you're really in tune with what the audience want, which is great. I have to make my own opinions. Yeah, you do. Probably why you're not number one. <laughs> no, sir. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name, please? My name's Lorraine Bowen. Great. Um, and do you have a normal job, Lorraine? I do teach the piano to 12 students. Obviously, you're singing for us. Are you singing one of your own songs? Yes, yeah, it's called the Crumble Song. The Crumble? Yeah, Crumble, yeah, as in Apple. Sunday afternoon pudding, yeah. And, and Lorraine, can I ask you a question? Who are you here with? I'm here with Miss Mucasio Organ. It's just that's it. OK, good luck. Great, let's go. Everybody's good at cooking something Somebody cooking crumble In fact, I've got one in the oven Would you like some? A bit of custard, a bit of cream It reminds you of your best dream Anything you want, it's anything you want But if you don't tell me soon Be off on my bike, off on my bike, off on my bike, off on my bike. Everybody's good at cooking something, and I'm good at cooking crumble. In fact, I've got one in the oven. Would you like some? Well, would you like some, eh? Yeah. I'd like some. Hey, let's just get this party really going now. My finger wings are out there. I'll tell you what. Let's do a mashup. Look, I've got my DJ headphones. <laughs> you get it? Flashing lights, come on! Flashing lights! <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four! Everybody's good at cooking something. The dark good at cooking crumble. Everybody's good at cooking something.
I'm going to say is it doesn't matter what these things mean. to the live semi-finals. Oh, my God! You're pleased for me. No, go and sit You're down. jealous because you think I found the winner. Oh Hello, who are you? My name is Dan Chez. I'm from Wolverhampton. I am 60 years old, what? and I'm here to do my thing! You're going to sing, right? Yes, Simon. This is an original song called Wiggle Wine, because <laughs> Wiggle... Wiggle wine. Wine. Yes, woo! Wiggle wine. Good luck. <laughs> Let's do it, Don Chez. Come on, Don Chez. All right. Axel Blake and I'm from West London. So Axel, what made you sign up for BGT this year? Well, I've got a 12-year-old son, he's in the audience. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted him to believe in yourself, you know? Put your mind to it and you can make it happen. And do you have a day job? 
Uh, yes, I do um, property maintenance. If you need a kitchen done, Simon, let me know. Let me know. I do, actually, Axel. <laughs> Give me a call. I will. Good. I want a good rate. <laughs> no, no, no. Come. We're friends now. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Press that and we're cool, yeah? <laughs> I'm really curious with you, because you've got, you got your day job, this is obviously is what you want to do. Has there ever been a moment where you've almost lost your confidence and thought, I'm not going to do this? 100%, 100% there's been that time. But when you have family that's looking at you and inspired by you, that's what keeps you going. Yeah. So my son and my daughter, that's, what, that's the reason. That's the reason. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Go for it. How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Make some noise. I was going to drive here today. I realise I don't have a licence, so... Don't worry, I drove anyways, I drove anyways. <laughs> I took the tube, I took the tube. I've got a love-hate relationship with the tube, you know? I love when it's empty, I hate when it's packed. Can't stand it. Fight people off for the armrest. You ever done that? You think, no, you don't. This old lady's strong, oh my... <laughs> have it, have it, Margaret, have it. Just have it. Some people do their makeup on the tube as well. Make some noise if you've ever done your makeup on the tube. <laughs> Legend. A couple weeks ago, I saw a woman, she was doing her whole makeup. A few stops later, she was a whole new person. I was so impressed, I started clapping. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you know. She looked down on me like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ugh, uh. I thought, uh, you may be a nine out of 10 now, but you was a minus two at King's Cross life, yeah. <laughs> Boom, yeah. I walked off the train like this. Inspire, yeah. Well, no bright to note, just recently my fiance gave birth to a little baby girl. <laughs> don't clap, Simon, don't clap. I didn't say the baby's mine, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, she's mine. Pandemic baby as well, you know? Aww. Yeah, so we went to give her a fitting name. So we named her Pfizer, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I call her Faisha, yeah, <laughs> Faisha. Oh, he's very good. <laughs> Technology is moving at such a crazy speed, evolving crazy. You got the metaverse, you know, you got cryptocurrency. I still get excited about my contactless card when I use it. <laughs> I do, when I use it, beep. <laughs> I love the noise. I've got a jacket with a pocket on his arm. Sometimes I'll leave my card in the arm and I'll pay with my arm. <laughs> just to confuse the cashier. That'll be 19 pounds 30. Boop. <laughs> Next week I'm going back, I'm gonna leave my card in my back pocket. I'll be 22 pounds 60. Boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I walk off in style. <laughs> yeah. Who's in a happy relationship? Make some noise. Yeah, me and my fiance have been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How are you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. <laughs> I can't stand it. I, she come up to me. I asked you what time you're coming home, and you said to me, I don't know when you're coming home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> what I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back, and guess what? She don't like it. <laughs> so I did tell you what time I was coming home, and you said, well, make sure you come back at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry, get out of my face, get out of my face. I say, all right, I'll get out of your face, but how do I do it? In style. Yay! In style! My name's Axel Blake, thank you.
David, what did you think? A comedy superstar is born tonight on that show. <laughs> so funny. You made it all seem so effortless. You got a wonderful, so likable personality. And everything you said was brilliantly funny and original. I love it, Axel. Thank you. Well done, Axel. Super, super, super confident. The first person, honestly, who's ever made a joke about COVID and was funny. <laughs> I, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but, you know, after what everybody's gone through over the last couple of years, boy, A, we needed this show back on air. We needed acts like you. There's one thing I have to tell you, though. I kind of like a granite top. I like a waste disposal unit. I want 25% off, and you get this. Tell me who you are, please. My name's Ben Trigger. Is that your real name? That is my real name. And where are you from, Ben Trigger? I'm from Brisbane, Australia. Can I ask why you don't have shoes on? Because I'm going to dance for you. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and tell me why America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent is it's really my second chance to fulfill my dream of dancing. When I was 18, I dislocated my knee very badly, and then... So I... if you hadn't dislocated your knee, what were you going to try and do? I wanted to be on Broadway. As a dancer? Yep. Right. <laughs> OK. Good luck. Thank you. Yes, dance. Come on. I love a barefoot dancer.
sorry. It's supposed to be us, not you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. OK. Wow, 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 wow. Julianne, what do you think? When I asked why you didn't have shoes on, I didn't realize what was to come. Woo! But you actually have some serious moves. And I guess work what your mama gave you. Thanks, Mom! Gabrielle. Baby, you gave us a whole show. You came to slay, and I am deceived. Thank you. How are you? I have to say, in all the time that I've been here, this is my favorite golden buzzer moment. <laughs> you know what I feel like today? What? I feel like I've eaten the craziest milkshake in the world with everything mixed up with you at the top. <laughs> Thank you. But you know what? You are hilarious. Thank you. You're so much fun. Howie, without the golden buzzer, yes or no? Without the golden buzzer, say yes. Thank you. Gabrielle? It's a huge yes for me. Thank you. Yeah. It's a tassel yes for yeah. me. <laughs> oh, Ben Trigger, guess what? You got four yeses. <laughs> How are you doing? Shh. Well, why? Not so loud. Baby sleeping. Oh, you brought. Oh, it's bringing. Oh, you brought. I'm really sorry, I couldn't find a babysitter. <laughs> Fantastic last time. Thank you very much. Why are we? Why are whispering? <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> oh, sorry, be right with you. <laughs> hey. What? That mirror. What? That mirror's not working. Mirror? That's not a mirror. That, that's Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! No, no. So listen, you go to sleep now. I want story. What? Story. What? I want a story. Well, we haven't got time for the story. Story. No, no, we haven't got time. I want a story. OK. OK. All right, I'm really sorry. If I tell you a quick story, you promise me you go to sleep straight away. <laughs> this is the story. Of Little Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood? Yeah, shh. She was walking through the woods on the way to her granny's house when all of a sudden out jumped a big bad wolf. Wolf? Yes, a nasty one with big horrible teeth. No, don't like it. No, but it's part of the story. Don't like that one. No, but it has to be. Don't like it. Okay. <laughs> change it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll change it. What, what, what do you want me to change it to? Duck. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is with the story, it won't work as a story if it's a duck. I want a duck! OK. OK. It wasn't a big bad wolf. No. It was a big bad, um, duck. Big bad duck? <laughs> yeah. No. Fluffy yellow duck. Little Red Riding Hood was really frightened. Why? Well, because she wouldn't be frightened of a fluffy yellow duck, would she? No. Hence, you've done it again and my story doesn't work. You keep doing this to my story. It doesn't work. You keep making me put ducks in them. Duck! They don't work as stories when there are ducks in them. Duck! What about yesterday's? Goldilocks and the three ducks. Duck! Snow White and the seven ducks. Duck! Why do you keep saying duck? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good finish. Yeah. This is fun for the whole family. This is a big family show, and you're a big family act. How many other puppets have you got? I have, I have a couple more. There's more to me than, than what you've seen so far. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to see your puppets. No, I don't. Oh, gosh. Well, I just think that your material is really, really clever, and you do make us believe, like, they're real... There are really two people on the stage. You're very, very good. 
You know, you're a cartoon come to life. I felt like I was watching a great cartoon. You and this baby and this dialogue is so fabulous. You're going to be a main contender. I mean, I don't think there's anyone sitting in this room right now who doesn't believe that you're not going to be in the top five. It was wonderfully orchestrated. The joke telling was great. You made a grown man feel like he was a kid, and I just felt myself just laughing, and I felt joy. And I want that feeling, and I want everybody to feel that feeling of joy. So I love comedy, and I love you, so. Marlon on his choice because I feel like we've got a great guy in you. That's such a talent. What a gift you have. Paul, you are now going straight through to Radio City Music Hall. For one, so I'm speechless now, and um, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you all. Paul <laughs> <laughs> oh, six six just got real. I love that my guest judge pick a comedian. I, uh, come on, I love comedy. Yes. I know. I love it. You know. still speechless? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm totally speechless. That was just amazing. <laughs> Who is going to win this year? I mean, seriously, we've got this some great the strongest talent. comedy. Oh my goodness! Hello. Hello, Alicia. How are you? I'm good. I'm really, really good. I was not expecting to see you today. I've known Kojo for many, many years. Kojo, I'll let you tell my fellow judges about yourself. I'm a stand-up comedian. <laughs> um, been doing comedy for 20 years. Um, I've spent most of those 20 years encouraging young comedians and helping big-name comedians and opening up for them. And my new fiancé, We've, we've got a little boy called Roman, who's here as well. And she said that it was about time that I started thinking about myself and... My son. Who makes you laugh? Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. OK, well, look, Koji, you know the show. Three minutes, do your stuff. Good luck, darling. Thank you very much. Come on, Coach! I want a good one. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am a new dad for the first time. But all I want to do is be better than my dad, right? My dad had no patience, right? Me and my best friend, Michael Murphy, after school every day, we'd play football on the estate. I had the parent who would ruin that game by calling me inside for something I didn't think was necessary. All you would hear, because I've got African parents, right? My dad would shout like, Kujo, come here. <laughs> Now, Michael always had a confrontation with my dad. He was like, coach, 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 what's going on, mate? <laughs> the coach, you're a big man, you're 11. <laughs> you go in there and you tell him that this enough's enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was a little part of me that believed in Michael's spirit. <laughs> but then I remembered he don't live in my house. <laughs> so I turned to my dad, I said, dad, what's up? Go to the store and get me Ribena. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is all I said. Dad! <laughs> Can't you get it yourself? <laughs> it was 1 p.m., but it got dark real quick. <laughs> the pigeons weren't even flying anymore. They came down to warn me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any jokes. I've got problems. Have you ever been to a bank, right? Because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays, right? Have you ever gone into a bank? You've seen four available windows, four! But there's only one person working. Yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says, don't worry, she won't be long. Go and help her! <laughs> Why are you out here? You get to the cashier because it's your turn, right? They've now given the cashiers microphones, yeah? So everybody can hear your financial situation. I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like, can I get one pound 50, please? 
That weren't enough for her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open? <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? But I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how do you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> <laughs> I was so frustrated that I rushed out of the bank. I rushed out to be greeted by the most creative homeless person I have ever met. He rushed up to me and said, look, mate, I know you're in a rush, but can I please get 20 pence to get something to eat? Ladies and gentlemen, I looked at him and said, you know where to eat for 20 pence? <laughs> I said, mate, I'm coming with you. <laughs> I've got dinner for the both of us. When, you, when you're broke, right, and you ain't got no money, there's certain things that you can't enjoy. Like a cab ride, right? You can't enjoy the black cab ride, you can't enjoy it, right? I went into a black cab recently, me and my mate, we jumped in. He was getting comfortable. Clearly, he's got more money than me. He was looking outside the window, talking to the driver. He fell asleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you ain't got no money, you only look at one thing, the meter. <laughs> The experience in a black cab is the most awful thing ever. They charge you before you even speak to the driver. <laughs> you step in, 250. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you sit down, three pound. Hey! <laughs> Let's discuss this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's got to a point where I don't even have a destination when I get into a black cab. <laughs> when a driver says, where do you want to go? I say, take me to five pound. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. My name's Kojo, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Kojo, when you came on, I loved hearing about how you've grafted, how you've honed your act, how you've now got your little family. Yeah, and the act just got better and better, and then by the end you were like, yeah, I'd pay money to see this man. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Man. I'm so happy right now. I've always respected you. My respect level for you has just gone way up there, my friend. And uh, let's see how far you can take it now. Thank you very much. You Thank brother. you. Well, you know, when someone's really funny, there is nothing much to say other than you are brilliantly funny. Yeah. You made everyone laugh. Um, you've kind of got all bases covered as a comedian. You're brilliantly likeable. You've got fantastic observational routines. I think you did yourself really proud today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Joe. What was quite amazing was I felt that you were nervous. Then I could see the audience reacting to you and you reacting to them. But I'm going to be honest with you, Koja, I don't really like comedians on this show. But I love you. <laughs> I really get it. I have to tell you, I don't know what it is. You are so funny and so unpredictable. You've just got the most amazing energy. This is the break you've been waiting for. Thank you so much. I could not be happy with you. you. Enjoy this. Con la barriga. No. 
no te creo. No me lo creo. Se le ha bajado demasiado el micro. Igual es que tiene demasiada potencia de voz y se lo... ¿Qué es eso? What's your name, guys? I'm Emanuela and that's Philip Landry right there. <laughs> We here to expose all the ratchet females out there. Okay, good. I want to see this. If you know somebody ratchet, put your hands up. Let me see this. But a ratchet female is a female that don't know how to stay out of nobody business, always messing with somebody, man, and stuff. Let me lie. All the deals on Instagram. I, just, I can't even talk yeah, about it. You really expose it too much. We gonna get to that. How are you gonna expose ratchet females? We're gonna show you how ratchet females act, and then when we done, then we can ask some more questions. <laughs> All right. Let me do that. Are there any ratchet females on this panel? And may I be she cute? You cute, cute or whatever, but... <laughs> Yes. All right, we're anxious to see this. Uh, good luck. Okay. All right, turn up. Hit it! Oh, they should just talk. I said turn up. Tur hit it! <laughs> OMG, what do she have on? She ratchet! Her leg front is all wrong. Cause she ratchet! Give me the phone. I'm gonna take this hell for bitch. Cause she ratchet! Got it. I'm about to put this thing on Twitter. Oh, now you ratchet! Cause I ain't got time for this. I'm too grown. See, you ratchet. Why, bye. Now with them shoes on. You ratchet? Oh, I just wanna punch her in her face. Oh, she ratchet. I can't stand her. Oh, she too friendly. Oh, she ratchet. Brand new pants, y'all. It's good. Brand new tap. Hey, now the five dollar forty we blood tap. Bow. Oh, they finna judge feel. Shh. Be quiet. Guys, I, I'll be honest with you. I hit the X and I'll tell you why. Yeah, you were. Um, you know, I think <laughs> uh, this is all fun and games, but at the end of the day, I'm looking for a million dollar talent. Um, I didn't learn anything about ratchet. Take the activator out your hair and maybe you can learn something. <laughs> It's real. I'm gonna go to uh, Mel B. You know, I I loved it. I loved it. I get the comedy. I get what you're trying to explain. And you are impersonating women out there that actually act like That's that. That's all us. 
Um, Heidi, what do you think? You really think this is great? I'm confused. You know, I'm open-minded, and I'm always, you know, eager to learn something new, but I didn't really get it. Guys, you're missing the point. It's comedy. It's funny. It's funny to you. Here we go. I'll start it off, guys. Nothing personal. I just don't find it funny. I didn't get it. Uh, that's me. Yes. I'm going to go to Howie. I'm going to say yes, because... You are funny, you are original, you are polarizing, and this is what comedy is about, and this is why you're a star, and this is why they're gonna be stars. Mel B. Come on, it's obvious. I'm right there with you, it's yes. Yeah! Yes, yes, yes. One Fellas. more yes. <laughs> Fellas, you got two yeses, you got one no from me. If Heidi gets a no, then you're out. Get a yes? I'm telling you, as a professional comedian, this is good, this is funny, they're great. Come on, don't make it harder for me. It's not because I don't like you guys, I do, but I didn't get it, I didn't love it, and no, I'm so no, sorry. No, 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 I got it. Trust me, trust me. What are you saying? What's your vote? No, I said no. You said no. No, man, you can't hear it on the radio. It already has how many How many you sell already? Over. It's already went platinum. See? See? Yes! What you saying? What you saying? Over 180 million on YouTube. You can check it out. Prove me wrong. Can't do it no more. Out of the whole, he got the he How he took his chance on you guys. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm saying. And now yeah. you guys are through. That's right. Then How you can you say no? It. You're a ratchet, girl. <laughs> on the stage in Japan, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Um, sometimes we're here to be serious, and sometimes we're here to laugh. And you made me laugh. Thank you so much. I needed that. I'm gonna move to your sweetheart, your love, oh, your Akira. Indonesian love, Angun. <laughs> I like you a lot. Oh, love. Love. I like you a lot. You make me laugh, and Whoa. not only you make me laugh, you Her give away um, some magic tricks. So I don't know where this act is going, but I think I need you. Yeah, yeah, well, you're not through yet. We haven't voted yet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Shall we vote? I think we should vote. Hey! Jay. Akira, you know, you're one of those guys, like, it's like, I want to hate, but I can't help but like you. It's like, you're so good. Yes. Whoa. Akira, are you feeling really good right now? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> You're automatically through to the semifinals, buddy. Congratulations! <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. You feel good? Good. Happy? Happy! Happy! Okay. okay, that's not it. You are now one step closer on your journey of achieving your dreams. Yeah. And to help you celebrate that journey, Traveloka, one app for all hotel and flight needs, yeah. is proud to be sending you to Europe! Yeah. We're going to Europe! Europe! Europe. We're going to Europe! Yes! You're going to Europe! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 
Wasn't that fun? It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Nabil Abdul Rashid, and I'm from Croydon, South London. Great! Hey, I got Croydon. How old are you? Uh, I'm 34. 34. Why are you here today? Um, I've spent so much time doing other stuff, but now I want to pursue this. It's going to give me a chance to chase my dream and spend more time with my kids. But you've been harboring a dream, have you? For the oh, whole yes. of your life? Oh, yes. Or a nightmare, depending on how you look at it. I mean. <laughs> Well, look, we don't know what you're going to do. We like to be surprised. So, Nabil, take it away. So, Sky and all people, you all right? Yes. In case you haven't figured it out, yes, I am a stand-up comic. My name is Nabil Abdul Rashid, and uh, I am a Muslim, which is something... I'm not going to lie, that's not the reaction I was expecting. I have to announce that I'm Muslim because people never seem to realize I am until it's too late. <laughs> Recently, like, it was my birthday, right? Some of my colleagues found out it was my birthday. One of them was like, yo, fam! It's your birthday, can't say nothing, fam. Say nothing, fam. Man's got you, fam. Man's got a surprise for you, rude man. I said, why are you talking like that? You're Irish. And he said... <laughs> Took me out. Where did he take me? A bar for a cocktail party. I'm like, bro, you know I don't drink. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you do the Muslim thing, but it's your birthday, rude boy. Loosen up. <laughs> It's my birthday, so what next? Hey, Nabil, I know you have a nut allergy, but you see this peanut butter sandwich, fam? It's banging! <laughs> Loosen up! It's good, man. Because people tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently, I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently. They wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the group and like, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Shekhabal. I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shish Kebab. <laughs> but I'm I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Muslim. I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, the name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means now, my phone calls are monitored. Now... <laughs> <laughs> the annoying thing about being Muslim in 21st century Britain is you know the MI5 prevent and home office listening on your phone calls, but they don't go halves on the bill. <laughs> they follow you on Twitter, they don't retweet. <laughs> they follow you on Facebook, but they don't poke. Well, not on Facebook, they poke you at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. The writing is perfect, the delivery is perfect. I want to say thank you for coming on this show and, and bringing this style of humour because it makes the show grow. 
I didn't think I was going to do that today, but it just felt right. You are a breath of fresh air. Give me to me. Give me to you. How are you? Fine, thank you, Simon. So, who are you? I'm Ian, and this is my lovely wife, Anne. And what's your last name? Why, is she lovely? No, I said, what's your last name? Oh, my last name, Marshall, I'm sorry. Oh, he's a bit thick, don't listen to him. <laughs> so, your husband and wife? We, we are. are. Okay, how many years have you been married for? Next Friday, 44 years. <laughs> thank you. That is extraordinary. And your kids? Yeah, I've got four boys. Oh, um, God. One's an active soldier at the moment. Oh, fantastic. Uh, uh, we were both soldiers when we met. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. OK, well, good luck. I hope you enjoy this song. Oh, 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 oh. In your eyes, touching on you more and more every time. When you leave, I'm begging not to go. Call your name two, three times in a row. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. I'm feeling my pride is the one I blame, but I just don't understand how you love can do what no one else can. Got me looking so crazy right now. Your love's got me looking so crazy right now. Got me looking so crazy right now. Your touch got me looking so crazy right now. Got me hoping you're crazy right now. Oh yeah, do pop the pop, 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 Oh yeah, do pop the pop, yeah, do pop the pop, rock a duck a duck a. Oh yeah, do pop the pop, yeah, do pop the pop. I'm crazy in love. Beautiful relationship, and you picked a Beyonce song for no apparent reason. <laughs> for once, I, I just knew David was going to do that, but actually, for once, I get it. It's acts like you that made me love this show and love this country. Thank 
Thank you so much, Simon. I love you too. Thank you, David. Feeling jealous now? Are you worried? A little worried. Are you worried I'm going to win the whole thing? Oh, yeah! Shut up! Join. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Taju. And how old are you? 40. And are you married? Is that a proposal? <laughs> no, not married. Not to my knowledge. And what is it that you're doing for us today? Uh, stand up, impressions. Brilliant. We well, wish you all the best. Yes. Thank you. I love TV, man. Anybody here remember Blind Date? Ladies and gentlemen. It's Blind Date! And here's your host, Miss Scylla Black! We've got to be bunny lads behind that screen. <laughs> I didn't expect them to be doing Scylla. <laughs> I really didn't. And here's the gorgeous girl who's gone and meet him. Her name's Amanda. Come in, Amanda. You know, I'd love to have seen the screen goes back. She doesn't like the look of the guy and she makes it clear. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty women, why do you always come to the club with a friend that doesn't look as cute as you? Yes, and guys, just as you're about to get the cute one's number, the friend comes along and messes it up completely. <laughs> yes, let me set the scene, Alicia. Hi, oh, you're kind of cute. Oh, you're cute too. Here comes the friend. <sighs> <sighs> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Then they turn to their friend. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? <laughs> then they turn back to you. Are you a nutter? You look like a nutter. You act like a nutter. Can you prove you're not a nutter? Exactly what I thought. You are a nutter. <laughs> if I'm not getting a man, no one's getting a man. <laughs> Total Recall, Predator, Commando, action films. I love them. Favorite action hero? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Because Schwarzenegger is always asking questions. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> and he's always trying to explain his drama to other people that don't care. <laughs> Some men just tried to kill me. <laughs> I think they were spies or something. Harry from work, he was the boss. Blood on my shirt, blood on my hands, blood on my knife. He tried to take my life. Get down! Thank you. <laughs> He's funny! I like it. I really like it. I do like it, it's funny. We're there, Sam. We've got something we've got to do. Together? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Anton Dex, thank you so much, boy. He's good. He's very good. He's good. Congratulations. Hello, hello. 
No, well flown. Yeah. There's no one out there that I can think of right now who's like that. See you nice in the job. studio. Well done. Uh, well don't nice celebrate. Well Thanks, love. I'm talking about nerve-wracking, no, bro. Ah, bro, all that, all that, all that was... Go, 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 go. Hi. Hi there, what's your name and where are you from? Hello, my name is Shadow Ace. I'm 20 years old and I'm from the Philippines. Shadow Ace, what is your exact talent? I call this a hand shadow art. And what made you get started in hand shadow art? We used to have constant blackout in our neighborhood. Oh. So I entertained myself Same. using a candlelight and wall when I was a little kid. Take it away, my friend. Thank you. Three, two, one, Asia, let's dance. When Marimba Rhythm starts oh, to oh, 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 oh. dance with me, make me sway like a lazy ocean hugs the shore. Hold me close, sway. When the night has come oh. And the land is gone And the moon is the only light we'll see So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand Stand by me Stand by me I like him. Yeah, I really like this. Mm. Rising. Mm. Oh. I feel like I'm watching like real people. Shadow Ace. It's a silly little thing, I guess, to say, to play with your hands and make figures like that, but I'll tell you, I forgot that they were hands. They were people to me. <laughs> thank you. They thank were people you. to me. Good job, man. I am so glad that you are on this show. Really. I love that performance. Love. Thank you, thank you. I thought the, uh, the pole dancing thing and the hula hoop thing was, were brilliant. So yeah. Crazy. Brilliant. We've seen some uh, um, some shadow uh, shows. Not like this. And uh, this by far was the best one. Thank you. I would like to uh, introduce a very special people in my life. My mom and my dad. Great. Well, I'm glad they're there to see this vote because I think it's going to go very, very pleasantly for you, okay? <laughs> yes!
gonna get some. You can have, yeah, it's all yours. Take it all. It's all yours. Here. Take this home. You can have some of this. You I'm gonna take some. some. I'll take some it for you. Also. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Shadow Ace! Wow, that's really good. Yeah. That was really good. Really. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to enter the world of made believe. the part where you clap your hands. <laughs> okay, so some of you are wondering what's in the briefcase. Okay, white people call it a puppet. Black people say, Motorolosh. I say it's my friend. Welcome, my friend, my buddy, Jackie. Jackie, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What? Look at that lady. <laughs> What about it? She's cute. <laughs> if you like her, go ahead and ask her out. Hey, you, get out. <laughs> oh. mm. Hey, you, get out. Stop it, Jackie. You're not even a human being, you're a monkey. Mm, that's racist. <laughs> Jackie, listen, human beings, before we became human beings, we used to be monkeys. This means one day you're gonna evolve and become a human being. Listen, you can be Zulu. What? I want to drive Texas for the rest of my life. <laughs> Listen, you can be anything, man. You can be, you can be Betty. What? I want to join your hair. Listen. <laughs> Check it. Not all Betty guys are EFF members. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, ventriculism is very hard. Wait. What? I know that guy. Where do you know him from? TV. Which TV program? Kongolekaya. Chucky, are you sure it's Kongolekaya? No. I think it's Nyan Nyan. Chucky, are you telling the truth, man? Eh, we, Nyan Nyan. Chucky. Listen, man, listen, man, this is DJ Fresh. If you keep on picking him, you won't take us to the next round. Do you really want to win this thing? Yes. Tell them that I'm three years old and I'm a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That is just so bloody refreshing. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you know what, what the hell? Nicely done, my doctor. Nicely done. Thank you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah? Yeah? I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability, that's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> you understand? In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17 year old dude is showing up to this house party like, <laughs> Y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's 
two shots of short and Nayla start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17 year old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17 year old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos taco. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon! Did he win you over? I think I helped you. I do. I really, really do. I think Imagine that Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. It this is. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Please, 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 Hug it out. Please, 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 They're going to kiss please, on live please, TV. Please, 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 please. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Oh. You did it! Seven times, oh. Howie. Oh. You both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look. I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. This one dude tried to humiliate me, like I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, tries, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right, like you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. <laughs> I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. To become an America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was going to be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> And that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so.
Hey, y'all, it's Miley Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive, blissed, right? Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you're alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. That's it. We need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man, I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, yeah, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. I love it. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted 
to pay you a tribute to show your significance and most importantly your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. It's out on Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Now, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's okay. nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> it was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. 
the girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that, 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now, it does not end well. <laughs> There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care why you say, Howie, no. they're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent! Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. a real liar, eh? The only la, thing I'm mad at la, is la, that you worked on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got Talent. La, la, you guys are so fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. You're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. The password is magic. Dad, do you just look? No, not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. Oh, wow. That I'm is so cheating. Right. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Jim him. They're him cheating him because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final clue. the clue. We are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. Snack 